Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Leave me alone. I told you he would do it, didn't I? You're very lucky. You're so, so lucky. You would have been gone by now. Gone forever. I'm okay. What are you talking about? What do you mean gone forever? He wanted to use you for money rituals. You're so lucky. If he had gone on with that, our family would be thrown into mourning and agony. How did you get to know everything? I told you beforehand, didn't I? Yes, you did. But I didn't understand. What did you think stopped the car? And made one of them slip off. You didn't see. You didn't understand because you were so bent on hating me. My God. Amara, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for saving my life. I never knew you would do this for me. I have been blinded by envy to see the power and goodness in you. It's okay. Saving you from yourself is part of my mission. Mission? Yes. And I promise never to harass nor hate on you again. Never again. It's okay. I was never going to tell them. I just wanted you to learn your lessons. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam, Pastor, I am not happy. Why, what could be the problem? Sorry? I won't have let this thing go. What? There is an urgency that needs a follow-up that you and your husband need to know about it. What could that be, Pastor? Your daughter insulted me. Your daughter insulted a man of God. The apple of God's eyes. Pastor James. This can stop. When would a bearer stop? Eh? It's not a bearer. I mean, Amara. Amara insulted you? Yes. That's all I have. Only present, yeah. <laughs> See, let me tell you. The other day I was discussing with my choir member, in fact, my choir mistress. All of a sudden, in fact, I was discussing about our youth convention that is coming forth. All of a sudden, I saw Amara walking. Then she stopped and beckoned on me that I should come. Imagine. In fact, I was very, very flabbergasted. Very, very surprised. How could that girl ask me to come instead of her to come to me? See, but as a gentle man of God, as an apple of God's eyes, as an aspiring G.O. that is full of humility and following the way of Jesus Christ, the way of Apostle Paul. Get to the point. I, I decided to exclude the choir member 
and I must do her. Do you know the reason why she called me? No, you tell me. She asked me that I should leave that girl, in fact, that my choir member alone. That she's innocent. Can you imagine? So what, what, what did you do? That, see, he said that if I did not leave her alone, that she's going to report me to Gio, my general officer. Why? <sighs> Why would Amara do that? See, the only thing that offered me is the audacity, the alacrity. She used to call me. La Casuntele Prashakata Le Prasata. La Pasukata La Prasata. And you humbly answer? Yes. Madam, this time around is not about something strange or something ridiculous. See, uh, after that incident, the Spirit of God revealed to me Libra that there is a satanic work going inside her life. That your whole family is sitting on a temple. I mean, your whole family is in danger. How? Madam, she has a spiritual husband. I mean, Omo no Banje. My daughter? Yes! I don't understand it, but she has never caused any trouble amongst us. Rather, she has brought us good things, you know? See, Madam, look, look at it. The marine spirit has enveloped her body. And uh, earlier we tackle it, the better for us. So what do we do? We need to invite her. Because the way Satan works is when he gives you something on the right hand, he collects it back from the other hand. We need to invite her and interrogate the spirit in her so that we can deal with it. You know my daughter Amara, she will not agree to come to the church. So, see, let, let me tell you. She is your daughter. And a little girl for that matter. Can you feel it? Yes, a little girl but with a big mind. She acts like an adult. So? Well, let's do it this way. You visit us, you know, we invite you. You visit us, then you'll be able to tackle that. Anyway, madam, I'm going to check my diary concerning my program. Then I'll get back to you. God bless you. Yes, you too, Pastor. Take it easy. I admire your humility. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Listen to us. She's a child of mystery. Yeah, who's there coming? Oh, la Rosita. Stop. No, welcome. Yeah. How are you doing? Fine. You said you were coming, but I didn't know you would come this season. You are a spirit. Hello, Bianca. You are a spirit. You have a spiritual husband. I'm a Bianca. I don't have such. I said, come here. Come. I said, come. I know. Okay. Yes. You have a stubborn spirit. I don't have a stubborn spirit. Like Suka Tarababa. Oh, yes. Sakale Posun Tarabas. Reka Seke Terebaya Kasun Tarababa. Hey. Stop our spirit. Today is today. Let me tell you, the power will jump power. In fact, the bigger power will jump the small power. And when the bigger power jump the small power, the small power will succumb. The small power will do harder, will be crushed. Let me tell you, in the name of Jesus. But you know what? You are going to shout fire seven times. Do you hear me? Yes. One, two, three, go! Fire! 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 Fire!
I don't care. You're a family of Yes, you're a dad. Fire! Fire! I don't do it. Take out fire! That was fair! 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 That in, in the mentioned name of Jesus, every meal must bow. But in heaven, on earth, on earth, there must be the back. See, when power, she power, see, she talks, she has a stubborn spirit. But she won't be. Yes, let me tell you. We have a bigger problem. That is our Asakat. Lakasuke Tarema! See? Therefore, step by step of this Do you know what? Pretends. I see what it is. But it was struck. Let me tell you, in the midst of the name of Jesus, every name was on the heaven, on earth, on the earth. Yes, yes, yes. See, see, let me tell you, have a big power. When the bigger power confronts a small power, the small power of the courts, because we have the sovereign God, we now have to tell them. It's our job, it's our calling. We know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She need the from You say there. every knee will bow. Yes. Not every backside. No. Ah, Kayaba. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? See the spiritual husband. They are here. They are here. Look at. Look at. Can you see them? Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Madam, set fire. Set fire. Fire. How are you? Amara, what is it? Talk to me now. What is the problem? Amara Chin. Amara, what is the problem? me now. Did mommy scold you? Say something now. What is the problem? Say something now. I'm watching. I'm watching. With Amarachi. She's not talking to me. She is not talking to me either. Wow. To think that I am beginning to like her. I don't even get used to her. Now she's come out with a new format. And you people say she's not Obanji. Don't, please. Don't call her that. I think she's angry with me. Why? Well, the pastor came here for deliverance and 
bring us over her, and I guess that is what is upsetting her. Sounds funny, but it's not funny. What the hell of this is happening in this house behind my back? Who invited the pastor and why? Pastor James invited us. No one invited Pastor James. He was here on his own accord and um, it wasn't funny at all. But oh, please, I wouldn't want your father to hear about this. You know, he has never wanted anyone, any outsider getting involved in a mouse case. So we keep it um, separate. <clears throat> okay. You do not tell me anything. You do not discuss anything. Meanwhile, I'm starving. Is there food for me? Uh, no. Well, start with this. She's lucky she doesn't put templates. She's a child of mystery. Have I caused you or died any damage in this house? Oh. Have I assaulted or insulted anyone? No. Why ask all these questions? Why did you bring that pastor to molest me? I... Well, well that wasn't the intention. It's just that after he told me that you insulted him in church, I, I felt I should bring him to come and talk to you. I, I meant no harm. I was doing it for your own good. Doing it for my own good? By bringing the pastor? Well, I, he said he needed to deliver or pray for you, either or. Deliver me from what? Well, you see, you've, you've been acting strange lately. You know, like the other time you were saying things like, um, you let me know here, and then you refuse to go abroad to study. And so many other things I cannot readily remember. I'm a bit worried about you. I mean, if he says he can deliver you, then it's all well and good because I'm anxious. <laughs> I know you don't want me to die of anxiety. I'm just praying that if he delivers you, then everyone will be fine. It will be one happy family I once understand. again. I understand. You do. Can you tell Pastor James to come again for the deliverance? Oh, really? You're in agreement now. He has to finish what he has started for the truth to be revealed. Okay. Fine, I'll do that. I'll tell him to come back again. What? What made you change your mind? That's all good. I mean, if I'm not trying to gain a guy, I'll for you. Let the peace be unto this house. Madam, I have a final revelation. Yes, concerning your daughter Amara, our daughter. Lema yakasuke telebra shaka telebra seke the spirit of God. Lema seke. She has a stubborn, marine spirit. Yes, and it's very, very afraid. It's very, very cunning. Yes. Lema yakasentra boya kasentra ba. See, it's going to make this place a comfort zone. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, as long as your daughter is still living in this house, the marine spirit will not depart. 
Yes. 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 She needs to go to the altar of God. Yes. When she stays in the altar of God, the power of God will envelop her. When the power of God envelops her, she will transform. She will be metamorphosed. She will be transfigured for better. I mean, her story will change. Yes. I know. Mother, you have, to, you have to go now. Yes, you need to prepare her right now. You need to prepare your daughter, Amara, for work with sojourn in the church at the altar of God. Yes, for prayer and fasting so that she will encounter the undiluted power of God. Yes, see, it is for better meant of this family. It is for betterment of her. It is for betterment of the Church of Christ. Yaka Saka. Young lady, Amara, rise, let us go. My pastor, I, I will bring her personally to your church. No, 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 no. Shalita Saka, Talako Sintaraba. Nima Yaka Saka, that the Spirit of God is talking. Yes. I'm hearing the voice of the Spirit. Ah. Leba yaka seketere baba seketere baba. Hey, la brakata la brakata. Madam kaya brakata. She have to follow me now. Now on the See, look at. Bible says we are not rest against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the powers of darkness of this earth. See, Madam, I have to do it right now. She has to follow me right now because. Uh, the devil is running to strike. Yes, to intensify. It's evil. Yes. Please, let us wait for her father to come. No, no, no. He will rank her us. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Lema Sakata. Mother. So, she has to go now. Now or never. Yes, Saka Suntela Pro Saka Talabakata. Rema Yaka Sentelebo Yaka Seketeriba. The Spirit of God is talking. Let him who has ear hear the voice of the Lord. Lema Yaka Seketeriba. Get Christ. Arise. Mm. Breaking news. What? Mm. I met with Pastor James. Huh? He said she needs second daughter. She's possessed. Ah. Possessed? Possessed of what? Eh, eh, his ice cream. <laughs> yes, now, nah, goodie bag. <laughs> Chine, She's Mama possessed Gigi. of mommy water spirits. Yeah, very funny. Oh, Banji. Ah, ah. Everything. Every darkness for his possession. She has all. Complete demon. Hmm. Is it not the same girl that passes by my house to go to school? Ah. So possessed people don't go out. Hmm. They don't go to school. They don't go to. They don't go to church. Eh? They don't go to the market. Those people that used to fall, that used to break chair in the church. Who are they? Eh? I'm telling somebody is possessed. You know that each time I look at that girl, each time she sees me, there's this. Mysterious thing I know I know about that girl. I just don't like that family at all. You know me, I have, you know that me, I have I have a discerning spirit. Chai, such a pretty and nice girl. Who is pretty and nice? So arrogant, very, very arrogant thing, like the mother. I beg, do you know that each time this girl, this girl, this girl sees me, there's this there's this look I see about her, and I know that that, that girl, there's something mysterious about her. Yes now. Yeah. So, Mama Ikechi, did the pastor conduct the deliverance? Ah, Jambini. Bebe Kwanu. It does not work like that, my sister. I tell you to work. I tell you to not work. You understand? So it's nobody's fault. Those people in the church, 
that the pastor will say, hey, hold, hold, hold. From the left or the right, I shall help, I shall help. <laughs> they came with what? Like a GM. Possessed spirits. They will still go back with the same spirits. Leave those things, so. You know they work like that. Hi. This must be a problem to that family. Mighty problem, big one. <sighs> I wish I could recover. From what? Malaria? Or typhoid? <laughs> This is a person possessed. Mama, it's a full of possessed. Hey. Ah uh ah. -uh. I mean, I mean, you never said they use drip, cheat on me water. This is serious. It's a full of cup. It's in in born in beauty. And it will affect the family very well. Mm -hmm. Not like I don't wish them well. Me too. This is not fun. It's a very serious matter. <laughs> for them, but not for me. Uh huh. <laughs> We have wasted too much time tracking this. See, I have a lot of things to do. In fact, I need to attend to my crusades and conventions. Yes. Young lady, stand up. Go inside there and pick your things. Let us go now. Save your family from destruction and humiliation. Pastor James. Yes. This format of yours is going to end today. Lika Sutta Bo Sutta! What are you saying? You call an order to come sleep in the altar for one week fasting and praying. Rather, it's one week sleeping with you. Yaka Sunta Reba Sunta Rubaka Sunta! You evil spirit! How dare you talk to a man of God like me? As Parenji or like me, live by Yakasu. You shut up. You've slept with girls for so long. What? You're serving yourself, not God, you man of iniquity. People like you are actually the problem with the church. You call an order. You prescribe one way fasting and prayer. Only to sleep with girls. Rape them. Torture them, threaten them with all kinds of spiritual lies if they try to expose you. Then you move to another girl. What's so disgusting? How dare you? I say, how dare you concoct such lies against a man of God like me? You, or that man of God like me? You be quiet. You've done this to so many girls and gone free. But not anymore. I warned you to leave the new chorister. I told you to stay away from the new chorister. But instead of heeding to my advice, you turned around and want to take advantage of me. But you don't know that what is inside of me is greater than what is inside your lustful self. See, madam, madam, warn your daughter. I mean, warn your daughter. She is telling a man of God with power. With spiritual power! Like a suitcase! Mama, please stop! Allow me to talk. You will leave this house right now and never to step your feet here again. And when you go, repent. Repent and ask for forgiveness. And somehow that the leadership of the church hasn't found out about you. Perhaps you have accomplices. Leave this place and let me not see your legs into this house again. Just leave. Just leave now. Just I am a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Please, why don't you just turn off the lights and go to bed? Get prepared. I'll leave soon. Is there anything else you want me to do for you? I ask again. Is there anything else you want me to do for you before I leave? I'm a little dear.
your grandmother. You took care of me when no one else did. Because of my poor sight, you took me wherever I wanted to go. You did everything that someone at your young age wouldn't do for me. So, I'm here to repay you for everything you've done, for all the goodness you did for me. I have limited time. I will leave soon. I warned you. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you that my time would be up soon. I ask again. Is there anything else you want me to do for you before I leave? I was the one who made those armed robbers drop their gun and sleep. No one has ever fallen sick since I came into this house. I hear the girls when she calls herself with a man. I also saved her from her boyfriend who wanted to use her for rituals. I made dad get those contracts and also made mom get double promotion in her office. Many other things that you don't know of. My time will soon be up. Uh, um, um, when exactly will your time be up? When I'm 17 years, I shall leave the night before my 17th birthday. I came in this body as your daughter to help you. Nene's daughter. How? Oh. Your granddaughter. Chinelo. Yes, come, 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 come. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh. my daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. You are so grown up now. I can't see well anymore. But I can see a young, big girl standing in front of me. <laughs> yes, Mama. We are on holiday, so my mom told me to come over to help you out. Oh, thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Amen. Mm. That's not been easy for me, my daughter. Mm. I don't see well anymore. And from time to time, I usually fall down when I take a walk. Mama, mm. sorry. Don't worry. From now on, as long as I'm here, you will not fall down. Oh! Thank you so much, my baby. Ah! God will bless you. Amen. Amen. God will bless you. Ah, then, let's go inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, wait. That reminds me. What about your parents? Yeah. Mama, they are fine. No? They asked me to greet you, including my brother Ikenna. You won't bother. 
my daughter Nena. God will bless her and her family Amen. for me. Amen. She used to come and see me. But I know it's not easy for her. Especially a married woman with children in the city. Now she sent you to come and help me in her place. God will bless you. Amen. Oh. Ah. Long I took something like this. Okay. Thank you so much, my daughter. Oh, my hmm. I have two children your mother and my son, Daniel. Daniel used to take care of me until he got married to that woman. And everything changed. He now sees me as a total stranger. He built his house over there. And abandoned me here all to myself. I don't know his children. I don't even know their names or what they look like. They don't come to the village to see me. Mm. The wife said I am a witch. Hey, mother is going to talk like that. No. Mm. You are not a witch. You are a wonderful grandma. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my daughter. Daniel sent somebody to take care of me. But she ended up stealing all my things and ran away. I almost died because I was very sick and nobody to cook for me. It's by the grace of God that I'm still alive. You know, die. God will not allow you to die, Mama. God forbid. Mama, don't worry. My mother and I we are here. We will take care of you. God forbid. God will not allow anything, anything that will kill you. will be far away from me, Mama. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, my daughter. Mama, I don't need to thank you. Thank you so much. You are different. You and your mother are different. My daughter, please. Do not change from this good character of yours. For it will take you very far. Don't need to worry, Mama. Mama will never change it. Mama, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Mama, God will bless you. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. I'm here. I will cook. Amen. I will sweep. I will wash. I will climb the stairs. I will do everything, Mama. Hey. In fact, what do you even want to eat? Hey. Name anything. Pounded yam or rice or anything. I will cook it. Pounded yam. Yes, Mama. So you can pound? Yes, I can pound now, Mama. Hey! I will cook anything for you. Don't Do worry. Do you know that it's been long I ate pounded yam? Ah, are you serious? Yes. Hey. And I would like to eat pounded yam. Don't worry, I will cook it for you, hey. Mama. Thank you. Hey, Mama. Ah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Ah, amen. You. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Look at your yeah. presence here is making me I'm happy. Here for you. Don't eh, worry. I used to be all by myself. Nobody to talk to. Hey. Nobody to laugh don't at. Don't worry, we will just. And you tell me folk. I've always heard of all these folk toasts. Yes. Too, so I would like to hear them. I have enough for you. Hey, thank I God. I have enough for you. Hey. But why not? I want okay. you to have some too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm here for you. Yeah. Thank you. Life is not 
What you think I tell her? This life is beyond human comprehension. Life is not what we think I tell her. This life is beyond human comprehension. If you like you think from now till tomorrow, you not go think understand this life. Of, if you like you think from now till tomorrow, you go think understand anything. If you like to think from now to tomorrow, you're not gonna think to understand this life. Oh, this life is mystery. It's mystery. Oh. If you like to think from now to tomorrow, you're not gonna think to understand this life. Oh. Impossible it may be. Everybody is important. No matter how little he or she may look, you have seen they not right power on face. Power is inside. This is mystery. This is mystery. Life is not what you think at all. This life is beyond human comprehension. Life is not what we think at all. This life is beyond human comprehension. If you like to think from now to tomorrow, you not go think to understand this life. Oh, if you like to think from now. Tomorrow, you're not going to fit, understand anything, not all. Hi. Hi. I'm Linda and you? Um, my name is Tinubu. Um, I've been seeing you in this village for quite some time now. I guess you just came back from the city. Um, yes, I came from Lagos. Really? <laughs> yeah. Lagos? Oh, I'm so happy, thank God. Well, I, I'm, I came from Lagos too. I'm so glad at least now I can see someone I can talk to. All like this village can preach. Ah. But the people of this village are very nice and simple people now. <laughs> Who said? Nice, you said. Well, all I can see in them is this bushy and timid character. Like my mommy just sent me here to punish me. Ah. Letting me stay with my grandma is just a total punishment. Oh, gosh. I stay with my granny too, but not as punishment. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, please, can you just tell me about it? <laughs> I think that will be for some other time. Right now, I'm going to home to prepare lunch for me and my granny. I just came back from the market. Okay, no problems. Maybe we'll see some other time. Sure. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Quit on our behalf. I'd rather stay with my kids. The kids? The kids are okay. Nothing will happen to them. Really? Yes, nothing will happen to them. Anyway, this is village. And I don't want these evil people to use their juju on my children. So I'd rather stay with them than go in there. Oh, come on, sweetheart. The children are okay. In my kindred, nobody does juju. You know it. Oh, I know nothing. Speak for yourself. Okay, it's alright. I think 
all of us can go and see Mama. Actually, Mama wants to see the kids too. Huh? I should take my children to go and see your mother? I will do no such thing. With her long stories. <laughs> no, please, go and see your mother. I'm not stopping you. See your mother, but check time. Ooh. Make it snappy. We have a long way to go. It's getting late. You think it's a good idea? I know. Don't worry, we'll soon leave this village, okay? Please hurry up, don't waste time. Don't worry, we'll soon leave, okay? Sweetheart, how are you? Hmm? See, don't worry, we'll soon be leaving this village, okay? We'll soon be going back. Hmm? I'll get you something on the road. I, I don't want you to go in there so that they don't harm you. Hmm? Um, let's go to the car and wait for daddy. Hmm? My love. You don't need to go inside that way. I don't want anything to happen. Where is your wife and my grandchildren? Mama, they are okay. Bring them. I want to touch my grandchildren. Um, Mama, they are sleeping in the car. I told them not to worry because we are late already. Hmm. Ever since you got married to that woman, you no longer take care of me. Mama, I don't like it when you talk like this. Eh? This is not about my wife. It's just the pleasures of life, you know, living in the city. And you know, things are no longer the way it is in the olden days. Is it not the same city that Nena and her little daughter lives? Is it not? They come here often to take care of me. This little girl, Ginello, she comes here every holiday to take care of me and help me out. What you and your wife are doing, is it good? Is it good? Um, Mama, I will make sure it changes. It's just uh, as a result of situations beyond my control. And um, thank God, Shine Lu is staying with you now. Okay? When the children grow up, they will come and stay with you. Okay? Take care. Uh, you can take this money and take good care of yourself. I will take it. Yes, I will. Then let me tell you one thing. Money is not everything. Family is. Let Sorry. me have it. Sorry. Okay, Mama, I think I will leave now. No, Lagos is far. Okay? So let me be going. Take good care of yourself. It's okay. Safe journey. It's alright. Save Johnny, my son. Mm. Women. Women. She has ended up taking away my son from me. God. You are the only one that sees in open and in secret. I know you will do something about it. Okay, okay. Thank you for the money that you gave her now. But please, try to make out time for her. I think she needs her love and care and attention at this stage of her life. Is she the one that sent you to say that? No, nobody sends me. I just think that she needs her love and care now more than ever. She's old and sick. Keep quiet. You that just managed to come and see her during this holiday, you are the one that cares? We that grew up with her, doing all the chores and everything. Do you know when we used to go to the stream to fetch water? About three kilometers away. We will go to batches before day breaks. 
then we prepare for school. Now you just go to the neighborhood to fetch water from the tap. You are praising yourself. Hey, no, Uncle, I'm not praising myself. I'm just saying that... Shut up! You don't talk when I talk. Even your mother cannot talk back at me like this. Hey, Uncle, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. You better be. I didn't mean to offend you. You better be. You better be. Sweet What's going on here? Why did you make Oh, my dear. My niece is telling me how she has been taking care of her. Really? You lie. Because I saw everything from there. This good for nothing brat was insulting you for not coming home often to see your mother. Is it by force? I ask you, is it by force? My dear, she wasn't insulting you. Really? But now why are you lying? Hmm? Why are you covering up for her? Because she's your niece, right? No, 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 because she's your niece. You see it. You see why I get mad. Once it's your family, it's a no-go area. But if it's my family, my own siblings, I will let loose. Tessie, stop it. No, you don't know. Stop it. Stop covering evil. Stop it. What has come over you? Why are you covering up evil? Hey, you. She no know of whatever they call you. You little brat. I will not watch you insult my husband before me. Because an insult to him is an insult to my personality. And I, Tessie, will not take it. Now, leave my presence before I slap out Krikri stars from your eyes. Please! Idiots! Sweetheart, it's okay. I don't blame you! Please, please. Little brat. It's okay. You Bad habits. Like it's high time they have been taken to their place where they belong. Instead of preventing us from enjoying life and punishing us as young people. I don't think so. These grannies are actually fun to stay with. Fun? Yes. My granny tells me sweet folk stories. As for me, I hate those old mm. stories so much. I hate them. Toto is did that, elephant did that. There is nothing else they can add to that. So it's better for me to go back to the city and watch better programs like Cartoon Networks. But a lot of cartoons these days talk about animals now. Like Lion King, Tom and Jerry. You know about them too? Yes now, of course. But I also like local stories too. That means you are just being so weird. Like for me, I cannot stay in this village till another week. Ago. But tell me, when are you going back to Lagos? Maybe we can hook up there. Well, I'm going to stay here throughout the holiday. And after my Wayek, I'm going to come back here again and stay with my grandma. She seriously needs my help. Seriously? Yeah. You are really turning into a village babe. But it will be better for you to come back and stay with her permanently, since you enjoy village more than city. Okay, Linda. See you later. I have to go now. My grandmother must be worried about you. No problem. I don't envy you at all. But why not wait for the rent to stop before you start going home? No, no, no. She'll be worried about you. Okay. okay. No problem. So I'll just go and fix my hair. <laughs> See you some other time. Life is not what you think at all now. This life is beyond woman. I've made my last day. Enjoyable and memorable. You left the city where your mates are crazy about to come stay with me. God will bless you, my daughter. Amen, Mama. Amen. May my good Lord bless Amen. you. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Your children will do the same for you. Amen. You will grow in good health Amen. and happiness. Amen. You will marry a good man that will take care of you and respect you. Amen. Mm. My daughter, 
I wish I have something memorable to do for you too. Mm. How can I? How can I when I have little time to spend on this earth before I join my ancestors? I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to be a burden or problem to anybody. Oh. Mama, please don't talk like that. Mama, please. You're not a burden to me. I'm actually enjoying your company. And besides, all the interesting folk tales you told me, I can't hear them anywhere else. It's alright, my daughter. It's alright. For your sake, I will stay a little longer. Oh, Mama, thank you. Oh. A longer than you can ever imagine. Oh, Mama, thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for everything oh, you have done. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I didn't buy the goose again. One I saw in the market is not looking good. Mama? Mama, I'm going to be sleeping outside. Mama? 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 Hey, Mama! Mama, Mama, hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 Mama, Mama, hey, Mama, you cannot be dead now. Mama, wake up. Mama, wake up now. Mama, wake up. Mama, Jesus, you will stay with me, Mama. Mama, wake up. Hey, Jesus. Mama, no, 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 hey, Mama. Hey, somebody help me. Oh, hey, no, Mama, Mama, please, Mama. Mama, you promised that you will stay with me, Mama. Mama, how can you leave me like this? Mama, please, wake up now, Mama, please. Somebody please help me, help me, help me, mama please wake up, wake up, wake up, you must stand up, mama, mama, please, please, please stand up, mama, mama, no, you cannot just leave me like this, mama. I came in this body and I shall go back in this body. You're going nowhere. I will go! This is the covenant I have with the people of the other world. I cannot violate it. You gave me two years of your time. I want to repay you back. It will soon be all over. Then go and, and, and leave our daughter alone. Oh, Yili dear, go and leave our daughter Amara. I came in this body and I shall return with it. Your daughter will be no more the moment I leave. These are things of the spiritual realm. I took permission and broke the boundaries between the living and the dead for my return. I shall not breach this agreement, else my soul will never have rest. Prepare for my ex. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. How come I didn't know all this? All this while? I, I didn't think it was necessary, Debbie. Besides, I had forgotten all about it. Hmm. This is the most unexpected thing that has ever happened in my life. I know. But honestly, I don't want to lose my daughter. No. Never. Never. But how do we save her? 
Her birthday is in two months' time. Maybe we should talk to the bishop. Bishop? Yes. Okay, okay. But with her encounter with that uh, pastor the last time, I'm not sure she's going to cooperate with any other man of God. Yes, the bishop is different. It's okay. It's okay. You can, you can talk to him. Let's see how it goes. Um, I'm also thinking about taking her to the village. Native doctor? Uh, uh, not exactly, uh, but anything that can give us a solution, I am up for it. I have a feeling that this matter can only be tackled from the village. At least the elders should know what to do. Yes, somebody somewhere must have had similar experience and then we will take it off from there. I'll go to the village. Why you go to the bishop? Mm. Whichever one works, solution is what we need. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Hello. Can I get you something to eat? They're not hungry. Oh, this is not nice. Two days running now. All they've done is sleep from one room to the other, come out here, lie down. You've not eaten. It's 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 not healthy. Please, my daughter, let me get you something to eat. Have, have I done something wrong? Talk to me, please. Am I just, no matter how small, just have something in your stomach? Please. She still hasn't come out. She hasn't come out. Oh. Okay, in that case, let me see her before. Uh... There's no point. She's been there. She's not talking to anyone. Just let her be. We go to the village. Probably by the time we come back, her mood would have changed. Maybe by then her mood would have improved. Dad, <sighs> don't waste your money and time. There's no need for that journey. The villagers won't understand because it's beyond their understanding. Use this time to do your business and put your house in order because what will be, will be. Your Eminence, uh, I um, I had to leave. I mean, I waited for a long time and she wasn't forthcoming, so I left. <sighs> no, I, I, I don't think she would come. She, she doesn't like going anywhere. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, okay, just a minute. I'll jot it down. Yes. I'm picking it, sir. Okay. 
All right. I'll do the for She's a child of mystery. <laughs> Um, I'd gone to answer the bishop's call, but unfortunately, he wasn't there. But later, he called me on the phone and gave me some some things we have to do. So, the first of the list was uh, fasting and praying. He expects us to fast for uh, for one week, six to six. And then prayers, a lot of prayers, 12 midnight, 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. And um, they gave me a lot of uh, Bible passages for us to read and, you know, try and lift her up. So he said, uh, consequently, he'll be calling to advise us on what to do. That's okay. That's okay. You have really done well. Thank you. Uh, whatever we need to do to save Amara must be done. Whatever. Um, Ebere, do you understand what we are talking about? I'm not deaf now, Daddy. I heard you. You said we will fast six to six. Is it not? That's what you said, and I heard it. As you can see, this problem is highly spiritual, so the solution can only be spiritual also. Are you ready to fast for one week, six to six? Daddy, I don't understand the reason you are staring at only me. You said the whole family will fast. There is no problem. Hence, the whole family will fast. There's no need to fast. But Obama, why should you join the fast? What kind of question is that? Now you see why I was staring at you. Look at the kind of question you're asking. Well, we want to fast on behalf of your sister and you want that same sister to join in the fasting. Who does that? We are saying the same thing, Daddy. You and I are not saying the same thing. Stop it. I'm only saying that if we are fasting for Amara to be well, that it will only be reasonable for Amara to join the fast so that she can be well. Very, very well, Lord. There is no problem, but Amara will join. Because I'm not the only one that will come and fast and have us just for Amara to be well. Not us fasting, and Amara will eat. Me too, I will eat. How do you expect someone who is sick to fast alongside you? Me, I'm sick. Enough. Enough. Yeah. Vera, whatever you need to eat, after 6 p.m., go ahead and eat it. But once it is 6 a.m., honey, warn her. You must abide by this instruction as so long as you are under my roof. Do you understand that? Do you understand me? Yes, I do. I heard you. She's a child of mystery. She is mighty and does what does. 
is a mystery child. Who gets no problem? I should be the one asking you if there's a problem because the way you're fidgeting and looking, you know, a bit um, uptight. What exactly is going on? Uh, I'm fine, mommy. Nothing is wrong. Are you cooking food? Me? It's our neighbors. Yes, it's our neighbors, mommy. Uh -huh. I can smell food, my dear girl. Smell? Don't tell me it's your neighbor. Someone is cooking food in the house. Are you the one cooking? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Fast for one week, six to six, just to save your sister's life. And here you are cooking. Three days running, you're already cooking. In a medical long way, you're already cooking by the third day, breaking the fast. Six to six, so. No running streets these days. Oh, mommy, I do not break the fast. I only cooked out no 18 minutes. Oh, my God. You just cooked. So you cook now and keep it till 6 p.m. Then you eat it, right? Just in case they take light. Or we run out of gas. Or what? Or you get tired to cook by that time. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's your daughter's, your sister's life we're talking about here. Is her life and so? Why is it that every time it's Amara, Amara, Amara? It's always about Amara. Nobody cares about me. Why? Really? With the way you're acting, why would anyone care about you? You want your sister to die? Is that what you want? No, answer me. You don't even care. And so what if it's about my sister's life, mommy? So what? What about my own life? You people want me to die because you want to save Amara. So what? You people want me to die of hunger because of Amara. I can't believe that came out of her mouth. Jealousy. Jealousy is a wicked thing. I don't blame it. Your mouth. You can say whatever you like. On Ukube. Jealousy will kill you. I'm around them. I mean. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What do you want me to do? Amara, please. Please, you can't do this to us. Your father and I are worried over you. 
you need to talk to us. What, what, what is the problem? You know, we both love you. You've refused us to help you. You don't want to go to the church and you've stopped your father from going to the village. Talk to me. What, what, what do you need us to do to, to get you out of this? Please, my daughter, talk to me. Am I really supposed to say something? Yes. So just help us out too. Leave me alone. That is what I have to say to you. Not Amara. No! Leave me alone! Go and talk to Olivia, not me! No! I am not in the position to talk to. Go and talk to Olivia! No! Leave me alone! This is not malaria. They call it cerebral malaria. It, it, it makes people to hallucinate this things that are not there. That is what is wrong with her. It says it's malaria. Why didn't you people take her abroad? And treat her. You have the money. Why are you leaving her here to suffer? It is ordinary malaria. We don't have to fly her abroad to treat malaria. There's a doctor already on it. All right. Amara, why don't you go into the room and rest? You know, the doctor said she needs a lot of rest. Mm -hmm. She needs to sleep, yes. Hey. You bad woman. You evil woman. You want to collect money from my dad so you can continue your wayward life. No! A penny you won't see. We will give you food to avoid starvation. But no money! What is she saying? You shut up! I'm talking to you. You want to extort money from my father to continue your wayward life? What is she saying? Shut up! I'm talking to you! You're a bad woman. You're the bad woman I was talking about the last time you came. You want to continue with what life with my dad's money. You pushed your husband into his debt. And you made your mother in a pass through hell. He could not even let her see her grandchildren. You can Now the chicken has come to roost. You're crying. Go back to your lonely house and repent. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness. Mom, you'll give her food. She hasn't eaten good food in months. As for money, no. And you have to stay away from her. She's a bad woman. Very bad woman. <sighs> Very bad one. Hey, I'm going to stay here. I'll send you money. That was the answer. Chile to Taliki. My sister has been quite long. <laughs> hey! Hey! News flash. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. <laughs> you know me, I always carry well, current news. That's why I like it. Current you. news. Hey. I'm always current. Mama and Kichi. It's my job now. Hey, tell me, tell me. I tell heard me from Grapevine mm -hmm. that the girl is officially married. 
Oh. Officially mad. Ah. To an extent that they had to seal up her mouth. Because each time, each time they don't close her mouth, she will shout and it will attract the neighborhood. Ah. Yes, they serious. Yes, they had to tie her mouth and also chain her. In chains, my sister. Mm. Locked up in a room, oh. Hey! So, think about it. People that could barely see it two years ago, all of a sudden, boom! Wealth, new cars, houses, building houses, living a very big lifestyle, a flashy lifestyle. Just to check now, sudden wealth, sudden madness, balance the equation. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the man and his wife used their daughter for money ritual? Bam, Ijia. God will, God will bless you. I never knew you are this sensible. Yes, now. Nah. But it's true. That's oh, now. You know their story. You know now. They always beg you from top to top. Such a pretty girl. This is serious. Mm. But why would they do that kind of thing? My dear, I don't meet up. That's what they call level up. Greed. You know, they have to meet up to their lifestyle. Their fake lifestyle. So they need more money. For that, they have to exchange the girl's brain. I'm very sure. Chai. Anyway, <laughs> it's their problem. And they will live with the shame. Yes, because anything you plant is what you reap. They have planted man and they reap it. They will die inside that shit. That girl that is very pretty. Do you know that every time that girl passes by my house, I will be looking at her like I like that girl. She's very pretty. But not anymore. Or do you like pretty magic? Go for it. Hey. Who can I? I should that she's brainless. Hey. You know that the mother was saying that they were penniless. That the girl now the girl is brainless. Whatsoever anybody sows, the person will reap. You catch me that I used to beg money now. I used to come to me for money. All of a sudden, she has wealth. Which one is? That fine girl. Like the voice that her. Chai. Now she says this. How would they spend this? The child of mystery. <laughs> Madam Lucy, you know my mother will not be around by this time. So why come in here? Besides, you have her number. Why did you not call her? You came to confirm the gossip, right? What gossip? Madam Lucy, be careful of the kind of people you associate yourself with. Be careful of what you listen to. This world is filled with evil people. Envy is like drinking poison and hoping it kills your enemy. I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. Have a nice day. I'm sure you have more important things to do than to come here to see gossip. Close the gate behind you.
I said I would like to get married. At this point in time, you're thinking of getting married, settling down. You are not even thinking of your sister's condition. I am worried about my sister, which is the reason I want to get married. I mean, Mom, I am tired of all the problems going on in this house. I can no longer cope. I see. And you do. Did you take something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My senses are intact, Mom. Which is the reason I want to settle down. I will get married to a man who loves me. That man that will give me peace. And if you try to stop me, I will look with him. You should have done that a long time ago. What are you waiting for? What is stopping you? I thought by now you'd have gone. But why are you staying back and talking about it like you want me to beg you to stay? I'm disappointed in you. You are so selfish. You're not even thinking of what your sister is going through. Marriage to who? Can't believe you. You don't care. You only think of yourself. Always about my sister, Mom. No one thinks about me. Will you shut up? You are very selfish. It's all about Amara. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares how I feel. Nobody cares if I exist or not. Everything I do, I should forget about myself and think about Amara. If Amara were to be in your shoes, she would do more for you. Amara would take her own life for you. And you're here every minute talking about you. I am not talking about myself. You couldn't even fast for Amara. You couldn't even do anything for Amara. You lied against her. Amara goes through, through hell because of you. You don't care. You do not care. So you're keeping records for me. Why would I? Why would I? If you lose her, would you be happy? Do you know what we're going through? You are stuck here by yourself. She's my baby. Do you know what I'm going to do? She's your baby, but I am not. Shut up. That is the problem. You're you talking about your sister. You're here talking about getting married. You want to run away from it all. You don't even want to sit back and help your sister. What do you think marriage is all about? Selfishness? I want to get married. And I will. No one is stopping me. Go ahead. I don't come back here. Ebere, why do you want to get married now? Why don't you wait until you finish with school? Huh? I can always go to school and marry Dad. I am no longer happy here. I don't feel wanted. I don't feel loved. Please allow me to go to a man that loves me. Ebere, we, we provide you everything that you need as our child. And now God has made things easier for us. So how come it is now that you suddenly feel unwanted, uncomfortable, and you want to go? What exactly is the problem? We love you. 
not sad enough to make me want to stay. The world here revolves around Amara. I feel like I don't have any place here. My mistake is being thrown at me at every little time. There is nothing I do that is enough. I have someone out there that wants me. And yes, it's not that kind of love. You're a woman, mom. You know what I am talking about, right? Listen, Dad. I need a man. Like, I need him urgently. If not, I might just go mad. You understand me, right? Why are you sounding like a spoiled child? I am not spoiled! It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. I better. You want to get married, huh? You already found a man you want to get married to, huh? Yes. That's okay. Can we at least see the man? Yes, you can. That's alright. As soon as possible, bring your man, let us see him, and then we can take it off from there. Welcome once again, Mr. Tony. You're welcome once again. So, um, all right, uh, may I ask you, uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the city, you know, city guy, uptown guys, classic, Ashta Bagash, Ashta Bula, Dupu Kapori, you got it? That I was born and bred here. I've been around the world, traveled to a little places like the UK, London, Asia, Malaysia, all those countries with Sia. I've been there. So I'm like an international guy, you know, like a global citizen, citizen of the world. I even have a passport, baby. Citizen of the world, AKA Tony, on the passport. I mean, um, well, uh, I, that's okay, but I mean, um, where you come from, your, your village. I know you travel around the world and all that, but where is your village? That's what I've been trying to explain to you, sir. You know, my mom told me I'm Igbo, but uh, I've never been there. I don't speak it. Who cares about Igbo language, man? I'm an international guy. I speak international languages like French, Spanish, Latin. Tu parles français? Non, tu ne parles pas français. You don't speak French, I guess. Okay. Babe, do you speak French? Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah, teach you French tomorrow. Okay, so you see, Ibo is tough, hard to learn. I don't care about that language. But you know, my dad is from Benin and my grandmother is from Kogi State. You know Kogi State? No, no, no I don't. So um, I grew up with my grandmother. If you put this whole thing together, I'm like a national, international guy. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Um, enough of that. Um, so, what do you do for a living? Simple pops. I make money for a living. What do you mean by make money for a living? Okay, let me break it down to you, old man. You know, we don't work hard to make money now. We just play soft. All those going to school, learning trade, a doctor, nah. You just need to be rich. I'm rich, baby. No, no, I, I, it's not about uh, money. It's not about money. I mean, uh, the training, the skill. You know, it's, it, it, um, like your profession. You know, like a skill that you have, a training. Like, okay, I'm an engineer and a building contractor. My wife is an economist and a civil servant. So what are you? Oh, you mean like going to school, 
learning stuff. Oh no 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 pops. Yeah, that's old school. We don't need to learn all that to make money. Besides, who needs that? I got too much money. So, what's the use of all these questions? Okay, what have you achieved with uh, with with the money, or what have you achieved in life as a man? You won't marry my daughter. I don't know you, pops. A lot. <laughs> you got it. I know you know. You know, right? I've actually achieved a lot. You see that car park out there? Mm -hmm. I imported that car piece by piece. Mm -hmm. The wheels is from China. The steering is from Turkey. I coupled it myself. You know? That's just one of my rides. I got a Jeep for my mom and one for my elder brother that we can't need. He thought I wasn't going to make it. He thought I was going to die. But look at me. I forgive the bastard, you know? Because the Bible said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. I also bought a jeep for my pastor because that nigga was there for me when I was nobody. Yeah. He prayed for me. Look at me! Latest jeep. No, mm. yeah. you know? My pastor was there for me when I was nobody. Prayer, all this supporting. So I had to show him some love. Really? All right, all right. Um, so, uh, um, where, where do you live? Do you live uh, your own house or rented apartment or you're squatting with somebody else? I mean... Babe, you know where I live? I got no time for squatting. Let me shock you dead. Chill. Chill, sir. See? This is hilarious. That's why I'm going to live in the borough. See that? This is your house. Yeah, that's my house. Actually, that house, I'm importing everything from abroad. I'm importing the house piece by piece. The bricks from China. Not just the bricks, the furniture, everything. Clothes. Your daughter's room is well packaged. All the clothes is there. You know, even what she's gonna eat is from China. I don't eat shit in this country, man. Abera. Move it! Welcome once again. So, um... Alright, uh, may I ask you, uh, where are you from? Oh. I'm from the city, you know, city guy, uptown guys, classic, Ashta Bagash, Ashta Bula, Dupu Kapori, you got it? That I was born and bred here. I've been around the world, traveled to a little places like the UK, London, Asia, Malaysia, all those countries with Sia. I've been there. So I'm like an international guy. You know, like a global citizen, citizen of the world. I even have a passport, baby. Citizen of the world. Mm -hmm. AKA Tony. On the passport. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so, uh, I mean... Uh, well, uh, <laughs> hey, that's okay, but uh, I mean... Um, where you come from, your, your village. I know you travel around the world and all that, but... Where is your village? That's what I've been trying to explain to you, sir. You know, my mom told me I'm Igbo, but uh, I've never been there. I don't speak it. Who cares about Igbo language, man? I'm an international guy. I speak international languages like French, Spanish, Latin. Tu parles français? Now, tu ne parles pas français. You don't speak French, I guess. Okay. Babe, do you speak French? Yeah, I French. <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you French tomorrow. Okay, you. So, you see, Igbo is tough, hard to learn. I don't care about that language. But you know, my dad is from Benin and my grandmother is from Kogi State. You know Kogi State? No, no, no I don't. So, um, I grew up with my grandmother. If you put this whole thing together, I'm like a national, international guy. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. Um, enough of that. Um, so, what do you do for a living? Simple pops. 
and make money for a living. What do you mean by make money for a living? Okay, let me break it down to you, old man. You know, we don't work hard to make money now. We just play soft. All those going to school, learning trade, a doctor, nah. We just need to be rich. I'm rich, baby. No, no, I, it's not about uh, uh, money. It's not about money. I mean, uh, the training, the skill, you know. Um, like your profession, you know, like a skill that you have, a training. Like, okay, I'm an engineer and a building contractor. My wife is an economist and a civil servant. So what are you? Oh, you mean like going to school, learning? So, oh no, 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 pops. Yeah, that's old school. You don't need to learn all that to make money. Besides, who needs that? I got too much money. So, what's the use of all these questions? Okay, what have you achieved with, uh, with, with the money? Or what have you achieved in life as a man? You won't marry my daughter. Oh. I know you. Pops. A lot. Speak, baby. <laughs> you got it. I know you know. You know, right? I've actually achieved a lot. You see that car park out there? Mm -hmm. I imported that car piece by piece. Mm -hmm. The wheels is from China. The steering is from Turkey. I coupled it myself. You know? That's just one of my rides. I got a jeep for my mom and one for my elder brother, that wicked nigga. He thought I wasn't going to make it. He thought I was going to die. But look at me. I forgive the bastard, you know? Because the Bible said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. I also bought a jeep for my pastor because that nigga was there for me when I was nobody. He prayed for me. Look at me. Latest jeep. No. You know, my pastor was there for me when I was nobody. Prayer, all this supporting. So I had to show him some love. Really? Alright, alright. Um so uh, um where where do you live? Do you live uh, your own house or rented apartment or you're squatting with somebody else? I mean Babe, do you know where I live? I got no time for squatting. Let me shock you dead. Chill. Chill, sir. See? This is hilarious. That's what I'm gonna leave you borrow. You see that? This is your house. Yeah, that's my house. Actually, that house, I'm importing everything from abroad. I'm importing the house piece by piece. The bricks from China. Not just the bricks, the furniture, everything. Clothes, your daughter's room is well packaged. All the clothes is there. You know, even what she's gonna eat is from China. I don't eat shit in this country, man. Abera. Move it! Uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony Canto. Tony Canto. Canto. Yeah. You're That's welcome. my name, Nigo. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Pops. Um, this house of yours, what is it located? Oh, Pops. It's at the close of Madison Road. Um, you know, this area is reserved for big boys like us. That's why I'm going to leave for your daughter. Uh, who is the contractor that is handling this project? The contractor. I don't need no contractor. Contractor? No. no. This is a big project. It's almost a mansion. So it must be handled by a reputable contractor. Pops, what is all this question on about? I mean, I'm not here for some kind of an interview for a job. I'm here to marry your daughter. 
My love, please just calm down, okay? But the only is not necessary. Shut up. Shut up. What's the character? It's a turn. Pops, you cannot get married to my daughter. Dad! Shut up, you cat. Dad! Will you keep quiet? Oh, Dad. You know why you cannot marry my daughter? Because you're not only a cheap liar, but a very stupid one. Huh? Damn, you're calling me stupid now? Do I look stupid to you, babe? Why is the pop saying I'm stupid? Please just calm down, okay? Because that's exactly what you are. You presented my house, my own house under construction. It's what you presented to me as your house. What? And you want to marry my daughter. How? Tony! Tony! That means everything else about you is fake. Hey, Barry, didn't you know that my house is better than the uh, Keta clothes? Yes, the new house. So, how come you did not recognize it when he showed it to you? He did not show the house to me, Dad. He only told me about one other house located somewhere else. Which must also be a fake. Tony! Tony! Babes. Why didn't you tell me your pops here is a kind of a contractor or something? Is that the reason for the lies? Uh, okay, we want to get married. We want to get or whatever you're called. Please, carry your stupid self out of my house. Like right now. You heard her. Oh, finish up. Finish up the drink. Like your mom knows you will have something. That's a good shit. No, that's just a what. I thought I called you away. I didn't know. No. Hey! That is what he's been using on you, champ. Snake like champ. Can you see your life? What again? Yes. That's my shit, man. You stole my phone tops. Hey! <laughs> he called your father nigger. See, I stole this phone. I called you nigger. <laughs> yeah, baby. You won't stop disgracing this family. I want to marry, I want to marry. This, this is the height of <laughs> Bianne, what is going on now? Refund the money to the, the cooperative. Yes. I have your name on my list. 200,000. Yes, yes, yes. We talk about one for six months. Ten, ten thousand per month. That's um, you are owing for like six months now. I'm holding the book. you please pay or pay or please, please. Oh, my friend, don't mind these people that they want to. Please hold your story to yourself. I'm not interested. What happened? What you're, have I done? You're asking me what happened. What have I done? Like, really? Are you asking me that? You told me that Chinolo's daughter was mad. Oh, yes? I went there. Only to see the girl normal. And do you know the worst part of it? The girl even embarrassed me. Me and Lucy for coming to gossip. I don't know how she knew that I was coming. Maybe you alerted her. Only to make me look bad. Lucy. Are you aware you have a problem? What is your problem? Me? That's all that. Okay, okay, fine. I told you, I, I told you her child is raving mad. Did I ask you to go and confirm? Confirmento, confirmer. Eh? Confirm, confirm. Did I? You are very lucky she never chopped off your nose. You are very lucky. When you are saying, Apropo, hey. gossip. Look at who is calling someone, Apropo. You are the number one Apropo that I've ever seen. Me. All the gossip you told me in the past three years, I've known you are all lies. Lucy. You have too much jealousy in you. Lucy. Yes. You dare talk to me. Lucy, don't let me start with you. Do not let me start with you. If you allow me to open your chapter, I will read your verse. And it, and, eh, it will be so, so destructive. What chapter? Do not let me start with you. What chapter, Mama Nkechi? What chapter are you talking about? What chapter? What chapter? 
What chapter do you know? I see you have the altar of shame. Oh, you feel I don't know? Know what? Oh, very good. The chapter of your husband's ex-wife. What you did to her and became a new wife. You feel I don't know? <laughs> I have your stories like this. You think I don't know? That is all you do. Digging into people's life, looking for gossip. Shame on you. You deserve more. Shame on you, Mama and Lucy, I am not your mate. I am not your mate. Get out. Live here. You? You dare you lay your filthy hands on me? I will lay more on you. You are very stupid. Oh. Am I your mate? Are we mates? You will hear from me. How? I will yeah. sell the hot hands. Get out. So you dare lay your filthy hands on me? I will lay more on you. Mama and Ketchi. Get out. Leave my house. Sorry. I will deal with Leave you. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house. I will get out. Just wait. Look at. You deal with me. Stupid woman. In why blame me? Am I your mate? Look at! Because I have to decide so not to become your friend. Are we mates? By size, are we mates? Look at! Look at you! Nonsense! Eh? Telling me, eh, 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 I, I went to confirm. Confirm to you. You are very lucky. Go there next time. They will cut your head off. Nonsense. Eh, yes? There's no money. No, no money. Of your mind. She's a child of mystery. Well. Harassing your mother, harassing all of us. They want to get married, they want to get married. A man that loves you, a man that. A criminal. A very handsome. A wayward criminal, a homeless criminal. I'm sorry, Daddy. The first one was an armed robber, the second was a ritualist. And now, a complete fool. Better, why do you keep falling into the hands of people like this? In the Mekolongwe it is happening because you have such feeble mind, such feeble mind, and you have no respect nor regard for your parents. Shame on you! A better shame on you! Sorry for yourself. Look at the embarrassment. Just look at the embarrassment. The idiot you brought here is calling me a nigga, calling, talking down on us. I am sure everything he came here with was borrowed. That car must be borrowed. His clothes must be borrowed. Everything on him must be borrowed. But you fall for him. You fall for his type because you're so empty. She's, she's, I don't know, she's traveling everything, please. Come, come in. If you can, come with the doctor, please. Daddy, hurry! Please. Daddy, hurry, please! Get water, get water with the towel. It's okay, you'll be fine. With the towel. <laughs> I don't want to take any injection or drugs. Why are you sick? You need to get to the hospital. Because my time is up. I have to die in order to leave. 
So, so we don't understand what do you mean? My time is up. I have to die in order to live. 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 Do something! I have to die in order to live. Amar, 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 it's not time. It's not time. Don't drink water. Amar, don't drink water. Just let me. Now do something, please. Now please do something. Amara, please. Amara, please, I'm begging you. Now please do something. That's it. the permission of our forefathers down here to live without her. What's the use? The thing that you do for me is just as if I don't have my daughter. All you have done for me would be waste because my daughter is already dead. Take care of yourself and your family until it is time to go. 
Sweet child. 